What's up guys, this is Jeremy, Disciples Garage, and today we're getting the uh, fenders and stuff mounted on the Malibu, f for the Malibu flip, and uh, just wanted to show you guys the progress and what we're doing to get this thing done. As you can see, I got this mounted on. There's a, a bolt that goes this way from up top. You just open the door, and there's a bolt from under here through the fender or through the wheel well there. And then there's one down below behind the plastic. And then you just line it up with the hood, is how you determine where those get lined up. And then you're pretty good. We had to do some tweaking and stuff on the frame, uh, this little mount right here for the fender. All right, so as you can see, this was dented in here before. I don't know if I got any good befores of that, but I got that all pretty much yanked out. And what I'll probably do is I'm probably going to uh, grind this down with the grinder, uh, the 80 grit pad or something, get all this paint off of here and put a skim coat of, uh, of uh, lightweight body filler on there. And then uh, sand that down nice and smooth. And I'm going to hit that with the base coat when I base coat this stuff. Um, because that's all they do under here is, you know, put the base coat on, I think. They don't put any clear coat on under the hood there, so, so it can look like that. Just to give people peace of mind that it hasn't been tampered with and the frame's like, okay, even though it's just part of the core support and it doesn't really affect anything except for where the uh, lights get mounted right there, those two mount tabs. And I just finally got this one to where that line is nice and straight nice and straight and you won't notice it as much either when it's painted but but that part's perfect it's perfectly flush got this side all done so hopefully the core support isn't tweaked and we'll start figuring that out once we start mounting the bumper on here so I'm gonna get these headlights mounted and then after I get that in there, I'm going to go ahead and mount this bumper so that we can make sure everything fits right and it's all lining up good before uh, we go ahead and paint this thing. Okay, it took me a little bit to get that fitted, um, to get this line on the side here just right. But it's fitting pretty tight now there. And then I almost got the hood shut. It's on the first latch. And it looks like it tapers down really hard. And the front of the headlight right there, as you can see, is underneath. So that's not good. And this side looks like it's going to fit the weather stripping on the um, headlight just perfect. So. so it looks like I got about 10 15 minutes more tweaking on the right side mount on this headlight here to get that lined up, and then we should be good. Oh, yeah! <laughs> uh oh. Hey, you want some help? You want a knip? I have a knif. Oh yeah! Look at that. Dude, this car would look bad flat black. I'll tell you what, it's already half done. <laughs> we should paint that the color of the car. And then you got a chrome piece that's busted, so we still need to get that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Other way around, yo. You're upside down. Sir, so as you can see, obviously today is bumper day. So we're gonna get the bumper on. And we're gonna show you what it looks like when we're done. No more videos. So we're getting some body work done on the 2004 Chevy Malibu. I thought I've been calling it a 2005 this whole time. It was all kind of bubbly across the bottom here, so I got that all ground off with the grinder and uh, put a coat of uh, short strand fiberglass filler on it. And uh, so that's setting up right now. I had. Uh, Kyle scuffing the door earlier. Um, on this car, the um, I'm doing the fenders and the bumper, obviously. And uh, since I'm doing part of the hood, there's puppy. Can barely find a way in here. The shop's a mess. I got the guy coming to pick up that um, big ass freaking thing out of here, so that'll be gone tonight. Um, so then I can start rearranging some stuff. We fit the bumper on just to make sure it's gonna fit right. Um, she was pretty spread open uh, from you know 
sitting without being bolted onto something. So we had to bend this side about three, four inches to get it to bolt on. So I'm just kind of leaving it there. I got the heater set up and hopefully it, it'll stay the same shape. Um, if not, I'll end up hitting this with the heat gun to get this nice and hot so it'll um, conform to that shape. This will be painted uh, same time I paint the car, obviously, but I'll, like I said, I'll have more room over here and I'll probably hang it right here, you know, next to the paint job so I can hit it at the same time. Um, but yeah, I'll be spraying this all with color and blending half, not even halfway into the door. So I'll paint and I'll blend right here. I'm going to be doing the typical blend right here um, so that this matches the fender here. So with the paint from the fender having to be kind of blended up in here into the hood, obviously because I'm doing a little body work on the hood anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and paint the whole hood too. I'll be clear coating the whole door and uh, clear coating the whole hood. and. All right, I got that sculpted to the right shape with the, uh, what is this stuff? I think it's like whatever, 30 some grit or whatever, 40 grit. That real heavy green stuff that you put on the board files. And uh, now I'm gonna smooth it out with some 80. Fenders are on, lined up perfectly. The doors are on, because they never came off. They're all scuffed up. They're all ready to roll. No, I'm not taking the moldings off. That's the only thing that I'm not doing like legit by the book on this one. But I'm scuffing the crap out of them. The creases and around them and stuff like that. I should be taking them off, but it's a flipper. There's a couple little things, you know. I gotta stay within budget for Kyle on this one too, so that's the thing, okay? Shot of the awesome uh, door with the skateboard for handle. Um, so, it's only 40 degrees in here. So all you guys pissing and moaning in your shops about, it's 50 degrees out here, it sucks and blah, blah, blah. I start at zero degrees and I get it up to 50 and I'm like, yeah, it's 50 degrees, man. Let's get some work done. So, I got to get out of this state. So yeah, that's primered. Oh, here, you want you want a wide you want you want wide angle wide screen. The, the camera on the other side of the iPhone that's better. On the other side, here, let me flip it over for you. Uh, there was that crease that was right here. Not there anymore. No, no, got her primered. Haven't sanded it yet. I did pull the car out, blew the whole garage. Oh yeah, guys. So check this out. Bam! Look at all this room. Where'd all this room come from? I don't know, maybe someone cleaned today and put like tons of stuff like up in the attic and then boarded it off and then taped that door shut so it wasn't leaking so bad in here so I can heat it up a little better. And then maybe like move that stupid scooter up over there to give me some room here so I can paint this bumper and the car at the same time. All kind of like a professional, doing it all separate, you know, not on the car or anything like that. This door is all scuffed. There was a chip there. There was a chip up there. There was some chippage going on right here. And then, of course, the bodywork down here that you guys aren't going to see very good right now. I got a new daylight bulb, or daylight, or I got put a ballast there. I moved it from there and put it up here, so she's, eh, you know, she's got a couple little things here and there. Oh, what's that? Some shiny stuff because Kyle didn't finish his freaking, he's all like, dude, there, I scuffed it. It's all scuffed. So now I'm going over it again, getting rid of all this gloss because I'm going to, oh yeah, psh, 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 psh. here's what we're doing. Oh snap, I went and bought the full base uh, activator just so I can get some activations out of my paint. Got the Nason. 
rocking the Nason base coat in the house. I figure since it's a little cool, I'll run some uh, activator in it. I get these really super thin three packs of drop cloths from Walmart for like three bucks, three fifty. And yeah, we're gonna get rolling. I got a high energy mocha. I got some alcohol. Thanks to Southwest Rod and Customs, I'm now gonna be using freaking alcohol on all this stuff because and I've been saying it and I've been saying it and I've been saying it, dude. This one, right here, this one, this one right here. This one's for Pete at Rod, Southwest Rods and Customs. Wax and grease remover. I hope this can is a. Uh, hope this can's good and environmentally safe because bam, I'm sick of it. You know what I think? I think this cabinet. These two things are about level with my eyes, and they sit back here. I bet you my iPhone would sit in there. No, he doesn't. That's the other part I'm cheating on. I don't know. I really don't want to pull door panels off and do all this for this freaking car. I'm just not getting it. It's not that. It's just not paying that good. It's not that good of a paint paint job. So that's the deal with that. And so and the bumper. So I got the bumper set up. Boom. I'm getting pretty good at freaking bumpers. So I got the Denali bumper sitting there with the dent on top. So there's the bumper for it. That's gonna be ready to go. I'm gonna get that all bulldogged and then uh, get that sprayed. I gotta, get, I gotta get some work done. I gotta quit playing with the freaking recording device. So I'm out and uh, maybe I'll get you some shots of shooting this thing. Shots of shooting, later.